in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, fraternal greetings to you from the Carmelite Fathers and warm welcome to Carmel Light, reflection on the day's readings. It's the 15th of October, Saturday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. This day has been marked as World White Cane Safety Day and International Day of Rural Women by the United Nations. On 15th of October, we celebrate the memorial of St. Teresa of Avila, a mystic and doctor of the church, that too, the first woman doctor of the church. For us Carmelites, it's a solemnity because she is the reformer of the Carmelite order, but for the universal church, it's a memorial. Let's have a look at her life in brief. St. Teresa of Avila was born on March 28, 1515 in Spain. At 20, though reluctant to give up family life, St. Teresa entered the Carmelite convent in Avila. The Carmelite order had originally followed a very strict rule, but it had gradually fallen away from this. Teresa resolved to establish a new branch of the order and to observe the original rule. After many difficulties, a convent was opened in Avila in 1562. Teresa and her followers became known as discalced, means barefooted Carmelites. Discalced Carmelites. The best known of St. Teresa's writings is the interior castle in which she describes different stages of spiritual growth. Teresa was canonized 40 years after her death in 1582 on October 4th. In 1970, along with St. Catherine of Siena, she became one of the first two women to be declared a doctor of the church. St. Teresa of Avila, pray for us. Brothers and sisters, let's now focus on the gospel reading of the day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 12, verses 8 to 12. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But the one who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And when they bring you before the synagogues, and the rulers and the authorities, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today the Church celebrates the memorial of St. Teresa of Avila, Carmelite reformer and mystic whose life of prayer enriched the church during the 16th century counter-reformation. 
as a child Teresa felt captivated by the thought of eternity and the division of god granted to the saints in heaven as a child Teresa felt captivated by the thought of eternity and the vision god granted to the saints in heaven Teresa was a woman for god a woman of prayer discipline and compassion her heart belonged to god her conversion was no overnight affair it was an arduous lifelong struggle involving ongoing purification and suffering she was misunderstood misjudged opposed in her efforts at reform yet she struggled on courageous and faithful she struggled with her own mediocrity her illness her opposition and in the midst of all she clung to god in life and in prayer writings on prayer and contemplation are drawn from her experience powerful practical and graceful she was truly a woman of prayer a woman for god teresa was a woman for others though a contemplative she spent much of her time and energy seeking to reform herself and the carmelites to lead them back to the full observance of the primitive rule in herself in her prayer in her life in her efforts to reform in all the people she touched she was a woman for others a woman who inspired and gave life saint teresa is the master of prayer in the church above all others she is the one who lays out the way of the spiritual life most clearly and most succinctly the whole movement of the spiritual life is to go deeper into the soul until one finds perfect union with jesus christ who dwells at the very center of our being that is what her writings are about and she teaches us this way which was shown to her by the lord himself she did not keep it for herself but rather she has written it all down under obedience to teach the church so that all of us would be able to walk the path that has been blazed for us teresa describes prayer in this way as i see it mental prayer in my opinion is nothing else than an intimate sharing between friends so prayer is nothing else than an intimate sharing between friends it means taking time frequently to be alone with him who we know loves us it means taking time frequently not only in the morning and in the evening but taking time frequently to be alone with him who we know loves us St. Teresa, my dear friends, speaks about three virtues as necessary for the life of prayer, which are they, love for one another, detachment from all created things, and true humility. While these are the main, there are other supplementary virtues needed for a pray, prayer life. In Teresa's opinion, if we wish to learn to pray 
if we really want to make our life a journey of prayer and vice versa we must first lay solid existential foundations for without them prayer does not exist or at least not in the form and way as taught by saint teresa just as a plant requires a proper environment and conditions to grow so also in the spiritual life one cannot grow in prayer and contemplation without the proper atmosphere of a virtuous life prayer requires virtues and virtues facilitate contemplation are we ready to set out on this journey do we cultivate these virtues and those mentioned by lord himself brothers and sisters the psalm is a hymn of praise to god for choosing to bless human beings with the special place in creation christians have taken the words son of man to refer to jesus and his unique role in the salvation history yet the words could also refer to all humans for god has gifted all humanity with the most honored place in all of material creation as we know it mortals have been given an opportunity to have a relationship with god and be in god's family and then to share that with others let's pray that some now Your response you have given your son power over the works of your hands you have given your son power over the works of your hands o lord our god how majestic is your name through all the earth your majesty is set above the heavens from the mouths of children and of babes you have given your son power over the works of your hands when i see the heavens the work of your fingers the moon and the stars which you arranged what is man that you should keep him in mind the son of man that you care for him you have given your son power over the works of your hands yet You have made him little lower than the angels. With glory and honor you crowned him. Give him power over the works of your hands. You put all things under his feet. You have given your son power over the works of your hands. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen novena prayer to our lady of mount carmel in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen holy mother of god we greet you as queen and mother of carmel you were raised from being a lowly handmaid to the great dignity of the mother of the word incarnate we dedicate ourselves as an act of filial homage we glorify the holy trinity by honoring you and in our many needs we have recourse to your protection and your powerful intercession jesus your son was so obedient to you on earth will certainly grant your petitions on our behalf with this trust and unbounded confidence we beseech you to hear our prayers and obtain for us of your divine son the favors we request in this novena having experienced the efficacy of your prayers we are full of confidence that you will gain for us this favor if it is for the glory of god and for our good amen let us pray for our petitions remember o most gracious virgin mary that never was it known 
that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help and sought thine intercession was left unaided inspired with this confidence i fly unto thee o virgin of virgins my mother to thee i come before thee i stand sinful and sorrowful o mother of the word incarnate despise not my petitions but in thy mercy hear and answer me amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen our lady of mount carmel pray for us thanksgiving prayer holy mother of god and queen of carmel we your children come before you in a spirit of filial devotion and gratitude as mother of our spiritual life you have obtained for us innumerable graces and blessings from our heavenly father who has given to us through you the greatest of all treasures christ our lord we recognize with deep sentiments of thankfulness all the spiritual favors that have come to us through your powerful intercession in particular we thank you for your special protection over those who wear your holy scapular with faith and love and finally we thank you for answering our prayers in our personal needs we implore from you the great grace of final perseverance that we remain faithful to the end to your son our lord jesus christ who is lord forever and ever amen let's pray for god's blessing may the lord jesus be with you to defend you may he be with you to sustain you may he go before you to show you the way may he follow you to guard you from above may he bless you with the father and the holy spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen pray for god's blessing now may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister wish you all a happy feast of saint teresa of avila please do remember us in your prayers today the carmelite family is of fathers cloistered sisters and secular carmel people who live the carmelite spirituality along with their family spirituality and today we remember all those who are celebrating their birthdays especially benlin elvisha lobo from omsur presently in uk k 
Kimberly Ann D'Souza from Dubai, Teresa Dorothy Aranna from Bendur, Mangalore. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. And we pray for the departed soul of Dennis Pinto from Putu. May the Lord grant him eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day and a weekend. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.